All right, week 12 in the NFL kicks off Thursday, Thanksgiving, south of the border in the United States of America. So far on the year, the underdogs are 87, 70, and 1 against the spread. Raiders, Titans, Bills are 8 and 2 when you bet the over on their games for over under. The overs overall are 85 and 74 on the season so far. The Rams, Bears, and Cards hit on the under at a 7 and 3 rate this year. Road teams are 82, 78, and 1 against the spread, even off that awful 4 and 9 or 5 and 9 week. 11 last week game number one kicks off Houston at Detroit Houston is three-point road favorites they're 0 2 and 2 against spread as a road fave 2 7 and 1 against the spread as a fave Deshaun Watson is quietly the NFL's sixth highest rated passer this year I found that a little interesting when I read it their defense however is last in passer rating allowed only two interceptions on the year for Houston's D and their run D is 32nd in yards per carry at 5.1. Can the Lions D, however, flip it and stop Fuller and Cooks as Detroit's defense ranks in the bottom 10 in almost every passing defensive category? Uh, will that trio, trio be able to take advantage of the Lions defense? I think so. The over is 10 and 1 in the Lions' last 11 games at home. 3 and 7 against spread as a dog is Detroit. And the big thing for the Lions here is Galladay, Swift, Amadola, and uh, Stafford are all beat up. And those are like four of your best players right there. That is Detroit's offense. I don't know how they're going to do it if Stafford's only had three days to recover from that, what is it, his thumb on his throwing hand injury that you could tell affected him in that ugly loss 20 to nothing to Carolina last week. It looked like Detroit almost like gave up. I never want to say quit because I don't think most athletes will quit. There might be a handful that will, but give up. Like they just lost their will to even put forth an effort for Patricia anymore. It feels to me their last 12 times Detroit's been a home dog on th Thanksgiving. They've lost outright and they're only two and 10 or something ridiculous like that against the spread. I do not see with these injuries, how Detroit is able to overcome them. I'm going to take Houston to win and cover the spread.